Traffic is prison facilities are severely overcrowded, with falls were prison in Cape Town seemingly bursting at the seams. That was the general consensus among correctional officials who toured the facility on an operational visit to check on issues ranging from overcrowding to gangsterism. The delegation of senior officials were led by Justice and Correctional Services Minister Michael Masuta, who witnessed firsthand their capacity problems. We know there are challenges of overcrowding. Uh, it's, it's a facility or it's a center that has several facilities that uh, uh, do different things. There's the remand section, uh, there's the youth section that uh, we've visited. The issue of overcrowding is certainly a, an immediate challenge, especially when it comes to the uh, remand uh, uh, center. To get educated. Yes. This cell, which is meant to accommodate 39 inmates, is housing 96 instead, making polls more 283 percent overcrowded. The conditions have made it fertile ground for gangs, while flourishing in numbers which are spilling over into the streets. Polsmo is situated very closer to the Cape Flats and uh, the induction of the civil gang as well as the prison gang. There's quite a strong bond at this stage that is growing between the, the, the civil gang and the prison gang. However, the biggest obstacle is the huge number of awaiting trial prisoners in remand centres who place a massive burden on the prison system's facilities. If you analyse the overcrowding, you find that um, if you remove uh, remand out of the figures, you more or less have adequate capacity to accommodate sentenced offenders. There is also a concern that the slow wheel of justice is further aggravating an already pressurized facility like Paulsmore. But that's something the minister believes is all part of the processes of law. While overcrowding remains the biggest challenge facing Paulsmore prison at this stage, rampant gang activity and illegal contraband remain other factors that continue to make this facility one of the most notorious in the country. So much so that for all the prisoners who were released out of these gates, many eventually find their way back in. Dr. Andrew, CCTV, Cape Town.